Shelby County's voting machines, which are about as technologically advanced as a rotary dial phone, are being prepared for early voting. The Memphis City election voting starts Friday, early voting, and this will be the machine's last hurrah. Tonight, several former politicians are calling on the election commission to make sure the old machines are working properly, claiming they can be linked into the internet and hacked. With more on the dispute, here's Local 24 News reporter Mike Matthews, new at 6. Well, there are questions from some about the voting machines and whether they work right or they can be hacked or whether something needs to be done. And it comes just a few days before early voting in the Memphis City elections. There has been one time that election results were challenged successfully. A race between Ophelia Ford and Terry Rowland for state senate. And that one had nothing to do with machines. These folks, however, think the machines are ripe for having information picked off. They've filed a federal lawsuit. These machines are very old. It's, it's, it, there, it's admitted that they're very old. Uh, all over the country, these machines are, are not working well. The machines are state-of-the-art technology for the year 2003. And that's the problem. There have been complaints about the Diebold machines since they were first introduced into the election system in Shelby County. Nothing's changed since then. No elections have been overturned because of machine errors, even with several lawsuits filed over the years. These machines have been shown since 2003 to be uh, very poor in terms of being able to protect the vote. And the election commissions have known about this for, what, 16 years now, and they've not done anything about it. That's not true, by the way. Shelby County does vote counting in a locked glass room where nobody is allowed in. But those counting things up, they're the only ones in there. There's a camera on that room as well. Election Supervisor Linda Phillips has said for years the machines are not connected to the Internet. Former State Representative and City Councilwoman Carol Chumney disagrees. We just want everybody's vote to be counted. You won't get any disagreement from anybody. These voting machines are old. They're past their prime. And they're supposed to be gone in time for next year's presidential race. In Memphis, Mike Matthews, Local 24 News.